ഒരുപാട്ടിക്കൺഫോർമേഷൻ <laughs> my voice is away my voice is clearly audible yes ma'am okay okay thank you so much ah you can you can uh, like uh, let me know if any like uh, problem is there in so first i am uh, just exploring this fastlet circuit simulator it is a very interactive tool which is a great way of learning circuit simulation so basically uh, here we can uh, Uh, easily uh, make a design easily make a new designs and uh, what we can do we can troubleshoot uh, in hand uh, before uh, further going uh, for the production only so we can check you know like uh, we can check by making its prototype in this circuit simulation tool also it offers a very range of uh, simple uh, methods from simple to complex simulations and uh, plenty of free online simulations for physics mathematics and engineering are available in this site so slowly we will go through it yeah. first uh, important feature of uh, this tool is that it is a free software and uh, we can redistribute it we can modify it under the terms of gnu general public license as published by free software foundation so here it is uh, free to use in for the education purpose and for detail licensing you can check in these in these uh, like uh, uh, details links over here so we can easily use it you know uh, like uh, okay so let's go further okay uh, so main features are okay so that is a free software second thing is it is a stand alone offline version is available over here and whatever simulation we are making to the in this interface here it is uh, like the domain is time and frequency we can change the time we can change the frequency and accordingly our simulation can affect okay we can get the result accordingly second circuit level simulations are there there are plenty of circuit simulation are there like lcr circuit resistor circuits capacitor uh, inductor so different circuits we can make it over here and we can simulate like a real time next feature is full screen version is available and what is it is a usb user friendly interface so anyone can use with a little bit of knowledge of this tool we can easily use it in the schools and colleges and uh, basically in uh, special 9th and 10th science students three tools over here let me discuss first of all the key tools over here of this system is of this tool is so like your file is there file menu is there we can reset you can see over here the thing which i have shared you can see it over here here we can reset the circuit all okay so reset the circuit as per our choice then run and stop to run and stop the simulation you can click it over here then change the speed simulation speed you can increase the simulation speed as well as you can decrease it at first as per our convenience level and uh, the current speed also can be adjusted and here you can see the circuit different set of circuit menus are there which are free built circuits are there like ohms law potential meter volt meter so different circuits are there i hope uh, everyone is uh, getting for time seeing any any problem in uh, listening or this thing everyone is aligned give me a note or something is a little bit faster man okay go. okay so i will go a little bit slow okay okay thank you for the feed okay so here i am showing you this is the example we will slowly move to the hands on training where i can i will show you how to make the circuits and how to modify it how to save it and how to export it so everything we will discuss it step by step 
So this is an example of showing the resistors, the Java applet, which is showing simply the resistive circuit. Okay, soon we will go to it. So let me first of all brief it, brief it to you, and then we will directly go to the process, right? Now we can, uh, what we can do, we can change the value of this electrical component also at the same time. Suppose we have made some circuit, and if you, I want to change the value of the resistance, I can simply change it from here. Okay, we can just go to the edit component and we can change it. Okay, and next to draw, what are the tools for developing this simulator? This circuit simulations, there are certain tools are here. I have showcased one of this over here in the slide. Like I add wires, we can add wire, we can add resistor, passive components are there, input sources are there. So I will discuss this uh, simultaneously today. Okay, so we will directly go to the system, to this circuit simulator uh, website. How to reach here? We can simply type fast add to Google. And here, this kind of web page will open. You just open this, click here. Okay, so then just open it, fast add circuit, JS. And as soon as we open it, we will go to the LCR circuit. Okay, so I will just go. Share that screen. As soon as we open that screen, we will we get this kind of LCR set. Is it difficult for everyone? Is it visible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So what is this? This is a LCR circuit, basic LCR circuit, especially in grade 12 students when we uh, teach them AC circuits where we have to showcase their current and voltage behavior. Okay, so here you can see that this is the understand its output. This OSPIT is connected to the oscilloscope and here we can easily get it output. Like first you can see, you can just move this cursor, the inductor one, how the inductor in the inductor, how the current and voltage is moving. Uh, like in capacitor, the voltage is uh, lagging with this current. So here it is showing like this. And in resistor circuit, voltage and current are in phase. So here you can see that they are aligned to each other. Okay. So this is the basic circuit which we are getting. This is the default version. So as soon as you open it, you will get this default version. Now, how will you, you will make a new one or uh, how we can go to the basic circuits? We can go to it. Okay. Here it is a file. From file, you can go to new blank circuit. As soon as you do the blank circuit, you will get the display kind of this thing. Then you will go to the draw part. Okay. Now in draw, just you add wire and add wire. Similarly, add resistor. All the draw components are over here. You can see this. We can make resistance in series, we can make resistance in parallel to teach them. We can add another circuit, another electrical component as well. Like I will add some other input sources uh, or some passive component. Like I will add one inductor, add inductor, and I will add. When I draw some new register, we can add key also. We can add, okay, and we can add uh, some input sources. Let's add AC source. You will see the current starts moving. This yellow dot is showing the flow of electron. See? This yellow dot is showing the flow of electron. And because since I have connected this inductor over here, inductor over here, so this is oscillating. Now, if, if by mistake you have added some component, you can simply delete it or you can delete simply undo part. Delete it over here. Delete it. Related. Okay. Now from here, we can simply reset it. You can increase the simulation speed like here. Now and you can increase the current speed like this. You can see. You can see you can increase the current speed from here. Okay. 
one more feature is this like you can like show current you can get the current of that particular circuit like suppose you want to know which is passing through this register you can just go through that component and at the right bottom you will get the current value like it is continuously changing because i have connected to the ac source if you are connected to a dc source you, will, you can get the fixed values similarly voltage is there resistance is there power is there so similarly across across this inductor you can check the values okay so this this kind of circuit easy circuit you can uh, make it you can make rectifier also, you can make diode also, similarly. Many, many um, options are available. Now, one more thing is there. If you are uncomfortable with black background, you can change the, the background color. So you can change it to white also, right? So, I'm just comfortable to black, so I'm making this black only in this, right? What is here? Now, suppose you want to see the output of this. I have this, uh, like, uh, across the inductor. How the current is flowing. So you can connect on Spoken. I'm moving. Keep your voice. Me. Are you? 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 Voice is audible. Hello. Voice is audible. Little bit disturbance is there, ma'am. Ah, disturbance is there. Yeah, little bit disturbance. Yeah. Now, now. Now it's okay. It's okay. Please let me know if my voice is uh, like uh, lagging or something. You can just let me know. Okay. 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 You are getting uh, this thing or should I repeat? It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So here, basically, I simply made a circuit, right? Now, suppose you want to see how the inductor, how, what is the output of this inductor? inductor. So you simply go new in a new scope. Scope is a basically version of oscilloscope. You, here you can see how this oscilloscope is, how this current and voltage is there in inductor. This current lacks voltage by pi by two, right? Isn't it? Current lacks voltage potential by pi by two. The phase difference is there, so that phase difference is clearly visible over it. We are getting this thing, right? This is the case for inductor. Now suppose for the uh, resistor, I want to. So what does it do? Again, view in new scope. View in new scope. Here you can see that across the across this register, the current and voltage are in phase. So see, you can see this. So this is a very interesting thing. Now suppose you want to merge all these things together. You want to see everything together. So you combine all. You just go to scope. You just go to scope and combine all. So you can see that the whole portion is combined. Right? So this is the one thing. You think how you will save this thing. Suppose you have made this circuit at home and you want to demonstrate this circuit in class. Okay, so best feature is this over here. You can save this, right? So for uh, to save time, I have already like uh, uh, say prepared one circuit and saved it. I am showing over. I am showing to you how to save it. I am showing right now, right? Now see what you will do. You just do this. Export as text. Whatever circuit you have made, you just click on the file, then go to export as text. As given here, as soon as you do it, you will get a uh, this notation. Some notations are already there. Some programming is there. Okay, Next, you just copy down that programming. Control C, copy that programming and copy it to the text file. That is, up simply you just take the entire thing and save it in a text file in a desktop. Right? Is it clear? This part is clear. It's clear? Yes. Hello. Please kindly confirm in chat box or you can unmute yourself. Ma'am, uh, export uh, this one just uh, Okay, I, I will explain uh, explain it again. No problem. Export. What you will do? Uh, 
uh, I just transfer. What you will do, whatever circuit you have made like this, you just go to the file and then go to the export as text. And then save this text like this. Okay, you just save it by control C. Now, once you have saved it, you can save it in your desktop. You can simply save it. But what is the purpose of this text? Because this is a programming language. It is that whatever circuit I have made that is saved in the form of text. Okay. Can we once again read the circuit from this? Can, uh, like in class or uh, anywhere, we can showcase this circuit again to them. Ma'am, uh, do we have uh, ammeter and voltmeter in this? Uh, yes, yes, add? everything. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I'm that's not, the hands on getting, learning we are doing. I'm not huh? getting ammeter and voltmeter in the drop shell. Wait, wait, wait. Let me show this. show it to you. I will add this emitter also over the option. Uh, you just go to draw like input and sources here. Uh, not input, in passive component you will get. Uh, not passive component. See, uh, you just go to output and label because from emitter we get the output of the current now. So you will get uh, that option in output and labels. You can add LED, you can add lamp, you can add box, you can add over here ohm meter or volt meter here, add volt meter. So I will add, I can make another one and I can show it to you, fine. Or simply I will just show it to you in blank circuit. Okay, thank like you. Yes, yes. Okay, in this way. Okay, got it. Now, now how to get back that uh, uh, circuit which I have made. So for that I have to, again, just because I have copied it, that thing, I will go to again file. Okay, then export as text. I will type on export as text. And whatever return it, I will just delete this part. And paste that copied part over it. Because that copied part I have already saved in text file. I will copy it from that there and just paste over it. Now, as soon as I paste it, okay. Uh, just wait, one, one, one second. I have click on another link, export as text. Control D and re -import. As soon as I re import that circuit is again available over. Okay, so in this way, we can make many kinds of predefined circuit over here and showcase to people. There are very, we can make a complicated, simple to complex uh, circuit from uh, this uh, just circuit maker, circuit simulator. I am showing you now uh, some predefined one like. Basics, which is available over here, like circuits. We can go to basics. There are Ohm's law, resistors, capacitor, inductor, LRC circuit. So let's go for resistors. Let's see this. This is the basic structure of resistor. You can switch it and sh show to students the importance of combination and sorry, combination and uh, series combination and parallel combination, how they behave. Okay. Like in this way. Now, uh, as soon as I close this, as soon as I close this, how the current is flowing over here, and how to edit it. You can edit also. Like I will edit here. You just go click on that particular circuit element. Go to edit part, and suppose it is four hundred. I can change it to suppose two hundred ohms. Okay, and. can simply see the total number of total resistance resistance you can calculate uh, this uh, what is your total power over here so in this way it's just helpful okay i will show you some more there are many options are available many options are available now i'm sharing back to the screen back to the my ma'am the rate of change of flow how can the flow of the current how can we change we can change the simulation speed. We simulation can change the simulation speed. Okay. And we can change the potential also. No? How much potential you are applying? Suppose 5 volt, 10 volt, 20 volt. Right over here. 
So we can, uh, uh, like, uh, on this simulated technique, we can easily find out the yield at critical time, what is the value of current at going through that particular compass. This, this thing I have already shared over here. This thing I have already shared uh, in this my PPT slide. So you can easily go through it when you are seeing that. Okay. Now, when, uh, there are many circuits are there. I have already showed you Ohm's law, registers are there, capacitor are there, LCR circuits are there, voltage divider, potentiometer, Norton's theorem, potentiometer divider, many, many circuits are there. Similarly, for grade 12, like logic families, logic uh, circuits are also there. Their PN junction, uh, PN junction diode is also there. Diodes are there. Rectifiers are there. So we can explain the output from uh, easily from this simulation technique. And also we can give the assignment to students to make a Rather than making in breadboard, they can simply make it in this uh, uh, simulation tool and uh, enhance their knowledge. Okay, so see, two examples I have already shared here, like for Moore's law, which is uh, in class 10th, we are teaching them 10th and 12th as well, simply. So this is a simple Java app, right? showing simple demonstration of Moore's law. So there also, we can change the voltage and uh, increase or decrease the voltage accordingly, the value of current will change. And we can find that, yes, voltage is directly proportional to current over here. I can show you once again. Now, this is a hands-on exercise, to, you know. Uh, here I have given us one question for you, like simply make a circuit, okay, which is uh, like as shown in the figure, one Kelvin, uh, one kilo ohms, 10 kilo ohms, and 10 kilo ohms. There are two registers of 10 kilo ohms and one register of one kilo ohm. And, for, and one DC source is applied 50 volts. So, in the similar way, you just simply draw it. And I uh, like uh, everyone kindly open this, uh, this website in your system and make it and make a screenshot, a screenshot of that particular circuit and share it to the uh, like uh, over here in chat. Ma'am, uh, Ma can we, can we... For each slide, uh, so the, the parameters which you have uh, told uh, earlier, mm. not sure. Mm. Can you repeat it? Getting what I'm saying? The parameters you have told ma earlier. Yes, yes, sir. Those parameters are not appearing here. Appearing? Which parameters, sir? So you have told that uh, make a simple circuit using uh, uh, certain voltage and resistance. Like yes, that. yes, yes, sir. Uh, what are those values? Kind of repeat. Values. This is what it is. This screen is shared to you, know, sir. One kilo ohms. No, like it is this not, one. It is not uh, appearing here. What you can it? edit it, sir. You can edit it once it is made. It is like uh, by default it is one one uh, one kilo ohm by default it is one kilo ohm you can edit that value uh, by simply making the right click over there and just edit one this one in, this, in this way now in this way. i am now i am able to see the slide that how to reach how to reach there uh, here only we are looking at the uh, uh, URLs and some uh, those things. Um. Okay, as soon as okay, as soon as you opened it, like yes. from here, okay, you just, all of you just open the Google at the same. Just type FastRed. Just go to FastRed circuit. As soon as you will click over here, you are getting a LCR circuit, right? Madam, uh, click for not changed. Please. Uh... Are you operating your screen? Yes. But it is not moving at all. Okay, that means. Is it visible? Yeah, it's okay. It is visible. So what's your question, sir? I am just giving you one task. All of you kindly make one circuit. Pi, new blank circuit. Just make one simple circuit from the draw tool. Add wire, add resistance, or I have 
if you continuously go like this, it is a wire only. I have to select add, add register. I will add, add register. In register, I can add some more also, like uh, some uh, I will add uh, what I will add simply voltmeter or ammeter. Ammeter. Uh, this add ammeter, which is connected in series only, one ammeter. Then I will add one battery. So this time I will take a voltage DC source. DC source. In it, I will add one more wire. The circuit is wrong. We are at the right corner. You will get a wrong connection. Okay, it showcases the error also. So you just check. Go to go through again the circuit, and you can just check it. Through. Now, if you want to see how what is uh, like how this uh, uh, what is the function, how what is the output of this ammeter, you can check it view in scope. So simply you will get a like this because it is a DC source. So if I volt of DC source, it is moving in a straight form in this way. Suppose I will connect over here. Suppose I connect it. Uh, I just cut it and I connect over here one. Inductor or one capacitor. So, case the capacitor, how the current will flow in the case of capacitor. Also, zero and the current stops. So this is a like a simulated way. Uh, at the real time, you can observe how this uh, capacitor or uh, how the resistance will behave uh, on the on the application of AC or DC source. I hope it is clear now. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay, okay. So should we move ahead now? Huh? Uh, let me. Um, I mean, in my case, DC source is not coming. That is AC voltage source, add voltage source, add AC voltage source like this. There only, ma'am. It is, it is there only. See, just add you can. Ground. You have to explore it. You have to explore it. This is a passive component. Input and sources. Input and sources. See? Uh, yes, uh, yes. That add one voltage only. Input and ha. sources. Then ha. add ground, add, add voltage source, add AC source, voltage this, source. That is a voltage source to terminal. is a DC only, ma'am. No, it's coming plus 5 volt only, this one. Uh, not like See, that, your one. That is positive, negative is not coming. Uh, that, uh, battery that is battery symbol is not coming. That okay, is, uh, voltage can, source can, symbol is not coming. You can refresh it, man. You can refresh it, maybe. Then it, it will come. Okay? Then it will come. I'll just share, stop share. Uh, not. Just. Here, many many are there. So uh, one small task I have given you. Uh, if you have made it, kindly share it to the chat box or in the link or in a WhatsApp group. Kindly you share it. Okay, ma'am. Just giving you one minute to make a circuit so that only to uh, get the idea whether you understood this hands-on training or not. So just make a very brief circuit. Uh, take any five electrical component. A uh, resistor or capacitor, inductor, or uh, one uh, this AC or DC source, one ammeter or voltmeter, you have to connect it parallel. So, kindly make a small circuit and uh, make a screenshot of it and uh,
proceeding. There are uh, like, I, this is a one part I have showcased to you. That is a circuit simulation part. In this uh, uh, part led, there is a one more factor. It is a big program. Okay, so it is a small Java program only. Now, you can understand physics and uh, like some maths components also, maths uh, concepts also. These are the some concepts we, which we can uh, understand using this past leg, like oscillation in waves, electricity in magnetism, electrodynamics, thermodynamics, quantum mechanics, mechanics. Okay, so for this, what you have to do, simply again go to the past leg. That is there. You can just go over. Uh, it uh, works. I just share it to the screen. Sure. Is it visible to you? Is it visible to you? Visible to you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just open it in this. Exercise. Share it to move the platform. Share. Yes. See, as soon as you open this pastlet.com, that's physics.html, there are multiple applets are available like oscillation and waves, the same electricity and magnetism, that is static state only, electrostatics, electrodynamics, quantum mechanics, many applets are there. So here I'm showing very few only like for which is uh, like more useful in school level, like electric motor. You can see it over here. This video is available over here. This yes. is a simply electric motor. How what is the function of electric motor? How mechanical energy is converted into energy is converted into energy over here. You can see this. We can showcase them the magnetic field. What is the direction of magnetic field? We can showcase them the magnetic moment, the direction of magnetic moment here. We can change the simulation speed also. We can increase or decrease. Okay, so in this way, we can explain the function of uh, this working of this electric motor. Okay, so simple, this loop is there, how Lorentz force is produced over there on the application of magnetic field and how this uh, this coil is rotating and which in turn produ uh, this produces the, motor, the motion of this uh, fan or electric motor. Right. So what will happen if you change the battery, like we can change the reverse battery option is there, I can reverse it. So the direction of this current will also get the reversed. So uh, now stop simulation. From here, you can stop simulation. Stop animation. Let's stop animation. Okay. We can change the loop position. Let change increase or decrease. We can just rotate it and then showcase them how this, uh, what is inside and outside of uh, the electric motor, how exactly what happens inside it. So this is a very interesting feature which I found it. And by simple uh, scrolling of your mouse, you can zoom in and zoom in over here, right? Now, similarly, one more is there. I'm just going back here. Uh, electric generator is also there, similar way. Electric generator is there. Now, I, I'm just showing one thing from electric uh, electrostatic, which is the first chapter electro uh, in uh, like grade 12. Because students get confused with the, uh, what is a like a, uh, Visualize that concept. This is the best, uh, like uh, athletics I have seen over here. Now, here you are uh, visualizing a double charge. Okay, 
like two positive charges are there and what is the electric potential and what is the how the electric field will interact with will behave over here this is true Finally confirmed. Anyone? And where do Is you it? get this one, this magnet? Magnet ah. picture. From where do you get this magnet picture? What to type? Simply you just type falstad.com. No, that one. Falstad uh, this dot com is there. And okay, after okay. The I'm drawing showing, the circuits. I'm showing. Dot com slash maths physics dot HTM. Just go through this. Go go through this link. All of you kindly go through this link. Falstead dot com slash maths physics dot HTM. You go through it. You can explore. I'm just showing you this one part. Electrostatic one. This is electrodynamics. I'm just showing you to the electrostatics. This one. Okay, this one. You can see this. Now, this is an example of double charge. I'm showing you, suppose, single charge. Let's just see the single charge. What is the behavior of single charge? Simple positive charge is there. This is the electrostatic potential over here, and electric field is there. To show the dipole, dipole charge. This is a concept of dipole charge. What is the nature of elect this electrostatic potential over here? It is there. Now, best feature is this. You can add another point charge also and see how it will behave. Now, see, you can add another charge and just you can play with it to move there and there and to see how the electrostatic field, how this uh, electric potential will behave. You can see this is very interesting. Students get a very good idea about this electric field lines, electrostatic potential, and how they will be. So there are many things, many features are available over here. You can add wall, wall of electric charge. You can add box. You can add hollow box. You can add cavity. So different concepts are there. You can even make a new one also. You can make a new as per your choice. So just this, all the features are available and inbuilt are many are there. Like you can see it over here. Many examples are already showing over here. Quadruple charge, what will happen for the quadruple charge? And that means four charges are available. So how this, what is the structure of this electric field and electric potential is? So this is a very interesting one. I find it very useful in explaining the electrostatic charge concept to students. So this is a very uh, interesting. One. Similarly here, Different uh, fields, different things are there. You can explore it. This one is for electrodynamics applets. So, yeah, this one is for. See, it is uh, like halfway. This is a little bit in a 3D form, halfway antenna, how the electromagnetic radiations are moving. So, in, this is showing that thing, like how the electromagnetic waves are propagating from one point to another point. So full screen version, you can see it from here. You can increase the simulation speed, decrease the simulation speed, and show the E by B ratio. Different things are there. So this is a little bit higher level. To small kids, you can show this a 2D version. Okay, many things are there. Simple. You can explore many of them. Okay, you can explore. Now we will move to next one. Next part. Discuss it. Now, simple, this is a small exercise which I have shared with you. Like, illustrate the effect of electric field and electrostatic potential on a point charge due to YouTube and do a screen capture of it. So, similarly, you can play with it. You can add wall also, wall of charge. You can add a box of charge. What will happen then? So similar thing, you can apply it over there also, and you can take a snapshot of it and share it to the uh, this group. Okay. Any query at this point, I want to ask if uh, anything you want to ask, you can ask me. 
Then we move to the next simulation tool that is Algo tool, which is equally interesting and interactive and engaging to student as well as teachers. Yes, anyone? Any query you want to ask regarding this? this point charge, you can uh, move from one person. Yes, side yes, to yes, side. exactly. We can move, we can uh, add, we can rotate, we can like we can see how this electric field, electric potential will vary. There are many, I have showcased to you only two. There are many hyperlinks are there. You have to explore your own because many are there. So you can explore on that because uh, these basic concepts on that concept many uh, like applets are already made so as per your teaching uh, topics you can choose that particular thing and explain to them change the brightness you can change the vector density you can change the equipotential count increase or decrease the equipotential count in this way we can uh, show the equipotential surface so many things are there you can choose that Moving to next one. I hope uh, anyone, anyone, any other uh, uh, query you want to ask, you can ask freely. Okay, so I will proceed further then. Okay. Now I'll go to, I'll go to is an another simulation tool. And uh, this is a very like interest, an interesting and interactive tool, which is uh, basically uh, designed to build an interactive 2D model of uh, basic uh, physics concepts. Okay, so we can say that it is a physics sandbox because we can make a, a different uh, like concepts over here, a different example to showcase the different examples uh, to clear the concepts of gravity, friction, and collision. And uh, it is a uh, very uh, good educational tool to teach physics concept and inspire students' creativity as well. Right. So I will directly go to the like a uh, different concepts which it is explaining. Like uh, we can explain using this tool, we can explain Newton's law of motion because it is purely based on gravity and inertia and these things. So acceleration of the, uh, of the object, force on the object, we can showcase all of these things. Uh, to this uh, using this tool and uh, also we can simulate it plus uh, we can uh, uh, calculate the value of these forces also which which is applicable to that particular object. Now different conservation of energy we can showcase to them uh, potential energy, kinetic energy, we can demonstrate the transfer of energy during collision. Okay so that interactively we can show students how uh, like energy can be transferred we can ex exactly teach uh, physics in a very interactive way. Gravity and friction also there, collision and momentum is also there. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to simply go to www.algodo.com downloads. It is, I just open, open it. Screen is visible to you? Yes, ma'am. I have to type it and go. Ma'am, please uh, again tell the uh, address http www. Ah, it's not. One for me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, www.algodoo.com option on those. Share it to you. Just give it to me. One moment, fans. As soon as you open it, see, as soon as you open algodoo.com slash downloads, 
you will get this kind of page. Is it it? Kindly open it in your uh, this uh, system, computer system. Yes. Yeah, this kind of page over there. You will click on download for Windows. Okay. If you have MacBook, you will use download for Mac. Okay. And for iPads, again, you have to go for iPad option. And it is free download. Okay. No charge is there. So I have already downloaded it. I have already downloaded it. So I'm directly going to that part. So, uh, ma'am, different and laws. How can we describe with this one? Right. I'll go do with, with this. I'll go do. How can you describe different laws? Newton's law. This one. Yes, yes. I'm explaining. I'm explaining that part only. I'm explaining that part. Okay. This is a uh, one uh, already. I have made. Uh, like different inbuilt lesson plans are there in Algodoo. I have taken one handsome example for you, which is for motion. Okay. So because it is a fundamental concept in science. So I have choose this one. So this chapter normally in motion, we explore the different facts like push, what is push, what is pull, and why this, uh, why the object drops, that is due to gravity, okay? And we also introduce the term force. So all are related terms, okay? So I've used this thing. So this is an already inbuilt one. So from here, I'm just showcasing to you, creating a scene, like a, here, it is, if I have already, it is already inbuilt. Some Topics are already inbuilt over there. So this is a one of the topic which I have, I have taken. You can take projectile motion also. You can take some uh, gravitation part also. So different, different topics are there. One I have chosen for you. And you can make your own also. Okay. So in see, now one scene is already created to know the, uh, this uh, motion of this object. Okay, motion of this uh, to understand the motion concept. One I have already chosen over there. I just go to click a part. Made one. See? So we can simply go to the animation and see how the object moves and how the different forces. We can see the different forces. We can click. I am just replaying it. object over here and showcase the motion of these three objects. One is falling perpendicular to it. One is falling, one is spherical, which is moving the, uh, along the inclined plane and another is a square rectangular, which is moving. So how this uh, thing happens, okay, we can easily prepare the model in this algorithm, right? So what you will do as soon as you open, download it, you will get a, this kind of page over there. I will just make a new one. I will make a new scene for you. This, this is a total frame which you are getting. Oh, this is a total frame. Screen is not ah, yes. When your screen is not moving. Hello? Yes, sir. Your screen is not uh, moving. That means I think you are changing your screen, but uh, it is not moving. At this time, I'm not changing. Is it visible? You told that uh, the motion of the object, but uh, here we can uh, we cannot see the motion of the object on the screen. Okay, 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 okay. Is this available? This screen is available now. Yeah. Okay. This is visible before also or not? No, no. no. Now we can see. Okay. So. This kind of page is physical. This, as soon as you open Algodoo, you will get a, this kind of page. Okay. Here you will see that some options are there. This is Pi. This is, okay. This is Pi. Now there are some tools are available here. So draw tool is there. This the sketch tool is there. Okay. These are drag and drop tool is there. As soon as you move your cursor towards it, here you will get the, that particular function of that tool. This is a scale tool. Okay, which is normally used for 
uh, fraction to eraser is there. So different tools are available before that. This is spring is there. Okay. Uh, similarly, here you will see that uh, this is the gravity option is there. This apple one part which shows is a gravitational relation. This is a like a, the friction which is due to the air. And this is a simple grid. I can make a grid if you want to make some uh, mechanics, some grid also. And you double click it, that grid is. So, one, uh, I will make one sample for you. And simultaneously, you also make, if you have downloaded it, so simply go through that. You will just go, new scene. I can, you can choose any scene from here. Okay, any change, uh, any scene from here. I just choose autumn. Okay, so this is thing I have chosen over here. This is a one. It's, And your voice is not audible. This is this is visible. But your voice is making. Uh, okay, my voice is Now it is now it is audible or is it still cracking? It's still cracking. Still cracking. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now uh, I will start it. Okay. Now simply, uh, you what you have to do is simply take this tool. This is a uh, like a uh, one a plain tool is there. We have to make this tool so that our whatever object we are making, they can stand on that plane, or we can because this is space. The area which you are seeing over here, this is a space, and this part is one ground is there. Okay, one ground. So I want to to make a simple pendulum to showcase you the how the energy is conserved in the case of simple pendulum or how the forces are acting on an object. Okay. So for that thing, I have to make one plane. So I just choose this plane over here, plane tool, and I just make it like this because mm -hmm. I have to make a pendulum. So I have to make one group. Okay. I have to make one group. So I have made one group over here. I will select here. Is it visible? Is it visible? Okay. Similarly, I take one square body and again I'm taking the spring. You can choose rope also. There is a one rope is there. You can choose this rope also. This is an eraser. Yes, one this is a rope. I just I take one rope also. I will take one group. One more plane I will take. I will make it inclined. Make it inclined to showcase the uh, like uh, how the inclined plane, how the object moves in the inclined plane. Okay. So one by one we will do it. In this case, once it is made, you can simply choose the simulation simulation speed. You just uh, you push it, you just drag it simply. This you can put a force over here simply. This is oscillating, how they are oscillating. Now, the student asks, okay, what are the forces are acting on this body? Man? Tell me, and how, what is the total energy is are over there? So, you can simply go to the over here, right side, right one. You can see this. Go to this one, this part, okay? This third one. Here, you will get the visualization effect. This is the visualization thing. And here, the forces are there. Okay, you can see the force. Now, I want to see forces, different forces. 
nicely all the forces are showing. We can see there is a uh, different velocity also. I think. That is now see angular velocity, rotational velocity. What is the direction of rotational velocity? Okay. Momentum. What is the direction of momentum? Momentum is seen as a velocity only. Direction is also in the direction of velocity. So whatever you want to see, you can observe from this uh, figure. Ma'am, please that's, repeat that one from uh, that browser type. How can we get this uh, page? Get, uh, this one I can draw. I'm not okay, getting... I will. Ex okay, okay, okay. Now I'm I'm telling you once more. Simply you just go to. Okay, ma'am. You just take this page you got now, ma'am. This page you got. Yes, if this that one I have got browser top menu right click properties environment simulation control tool option toolbar. This one I have yes. got. That's this this one you have got now. So simply you just go to file and uh, select any new scene from there. Any new scene you can choose it. Okay, ma'am. Uh, any new scene you can choose it. And then you can select it from this plain part. You just take a plain part. Mm -hmm. And because you have to make this roof, if you don't make this roof, the, all the object will fall. No, because I have applied this gravity portion. This is a gravity one. The part is gravity because Apple spawns it turns the gravity on and off. Okay, so if I off it now, now there is no gravity, so oh, they will just go randomly on a gravitational less. Okay, without any gravity. If I on it now, see the gravity is there. Now I just off this momentum part, huh? and also I off this velocity. Ma'am, ma excuse me. Ma Make it simple. I had the doubt, ma'am. This ah, how will yes. you suspended this, ma'am? Please. This 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 uh, inclined plane, ma'am. You just go to plane tool. This one. Just go, go to, to this plane tool. Ma'am, can plane you tool. show it again, please? Okay, okay. I am just showing you again. Just go to file. Go to new scene. Okay. Sunset. Okay. Okay. This I have chosen. Now you just go to this one, ma'am. Night plane. It creates an night plane. And you have to press hold it. Don't just drag it. You have to drag it. You just click on it. Okay. But once you have clicked on it, then you have to drag it. See, but wherever you want to, that's a plane. You just drag it like this. You have to just drag it. Um, it will move here and there. You have to select the particular portion. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. okay. I got it, now, got it. Uh -huh. Got it, got it. Okay, now then what you will do, you will just take a circle. Take a circle. You can make a motor also. You can make plenty, plenty of things. So one only simple thing I'm sure. Yes, ma'am. We make one with a row by the So once this is done, so I will apply a simply you just start play. So gravity is there already. Okay, so it starts to now. If you want to see ki, if I apply the force, what will happen? So you just go to drag tool. Drag drag is here in this one. This one, the finger one. This is the print force. Print force drag center of mass. Okay. So suppose I drag the center of mass. There also I drag the center of mass. There also I drag the center of mass to see. Okay. To see or to I just oscillate it like this. Okay. Now I want to see what is the uh, different forces are there. So I can write the different uh, to check the different forces. I just go to the visualization part, right corner. And there I on forces, I click on new forces. As soon as I click on the new forces, all the mechanical forces. Now here only one force, two forces are acting. One is a spring force and another is this additional force is acting over there. So what is the see? You can see this forces, how they are moving here and there. Also, you can see its component as well. This is the best feature because students didn't get done. 
and what is the component. So the component of that force, how they are behaving along x-axis and along y-axis. So this component is also getting, you can easily see this component. And uh, then uh, to see the velocities, you can just again view velocity, how the velocity is moving, what is how the direction, its direction is changing. And since I have selected component part, so it is showing in a component direction, meter per second. So it is a very like nicely uh, facing all the components of velocity as well as force, right? So this is the one thing. Here only I will draw another part. We just take another plane, another, I just make a slope. I just make a slope of it. Now to show the friction part, okay, to show the friction part, I just show them, uh, take a one spherical ball over here. Now see how it starts rotating. Okay. I just take one box, how this box is moving. Since here you can explain the concept of static friction to them because here the static friction is greater, so it stops. Now you can push it a little bit. If you push it a little bit, so it starts. If I push it, it starts in, in this way. Plus one more thing, one more very interesting feature, you will find it over here, like uh, Right corner, you will see material. At the right corner, you see the material. In this material, different materials are there. This is a default version which I am using. You can use gold also. You can use helium. I use one gold. Okay. What will happen if I take a ball of gold? See, it is very much high. So it will gain more momentum and it just starts flowing. If you take a helium ball, if a ball filled with helium, what will happen? Helium is lighter than air, so it will just suspend in the air itself to the roof, like this. It comes strong because its density is very much less as compared to air. Similarly, you can take glass also. You just take a view of glass. Right. So these are the different one, different things are there which you can make it plus you can make a like bike also many many things are there uh, i will show you one more you can see this this specs which is there there you can get a different uh inbuilt one okay these components of inbuilt one you can go to optics part okay and you can go to place i can just make a new one it's been more clear so I, you see, you can explore your creativity and you can uh, showcase to it. Uh, just see this. I just take a convex lens. One convex lens I have taken. Then I take a laser tape. Right. What do you see? Rays are not visible to you, but once you uh, refresh it and make it again, so it will come like uh, you, you will be able to show it. How the incident ray, this is a laser, how the incident ray are, uh, is no, and you are getting a discussion in this way. Okay, we can we can showcase students to action is taking place. See, so student get convex lens also. We can place convex lens also in between. And see, this how the light converges, how the beam of light converges, or we can place it over here, how the beam of light converges, and we are getting the object in this case. So we can just play with this uh, different tools so that to enhance the knowledge of the students. Many, many options are available. Your prism is there, convex lens is there, similarly concave lens is there. So you can use this convex lens to showcase the, this, how the light diverges, okay? And also one more is there, mirror is there, simply it's reflecting back.
it's a reflecting back. So by placing a different tools, we can showcase the nature of different materials, which are uh, in optics. We can explain this, especially in grade 9 and 10 students. They will find it very interesting. The lessons, one of the lessons I have showed with you, that is motion part. So the other lessons, if you want to uh, like explore or browse those lessons, we can simply go to this part over, over here. Okay, lessons part. This is a lesson part. So first option is quick to, from there you can learn more about how to use algodo lessons. Then create account. You can create your own account also, or simply you can download it. It does not uh, require any uh, account information now. But if you want to create an account, you can create it. You can make your uh, different uh, like uh, this images and you can save it in this algodo itself. And here you can go to browse lessons where you can find a pre-made lessons for your activities in the class. You can they see are, this here. Ma'am, they are asking for mail and new password like this. Mail address. Password. Okay. They, are they are asking for password and mail address. Password, password, yeah, this. No, it does not require any password. You simply go and download it. Take one, one second, one second, exit. I will show it to you how to do, how to go there. Just give me one second. Not you will get a, this kind of page once you have downloaded it. What that I'll go do okay, in your system and uh, you have installed it. Uh, as soon as you open uh, like a icon, A icon will come over here. And as you open that A icon, you will get uh, this kind of page. This is the only page you are getting. No login ID and nothing. For it, it does not require any login ID. I hope it is clear. Ma'am, for lesson. For lessons, uh, I... For I lessons, have... use Algodoo as a teaching aid. Yes, you can go to simply lesson. For making account. For making account. Uh, password. Create account. So you have to make your own, sir. You have to make it your own. You have to create an account in Algodoo. You have to simply sign up to start and create, save and share own Algodoo lesson. If you want to create, save and your own. So you can simply use an email. You write your email. Uh, account is only for teachers that want to create their own lesson plans. So uh, email and new password. You have to log in and you have to first of all uh, register in this and then you, have, you will get an email ID and password for the same. This is a free one. I'm using the basic version. The yes. some uh, I'm using the basic version. This is a free version which you can use. You can showcase directly to this in the class. Okay, you can use this lesson, pre-made lessons also. But to save your lesson and to share it, you need a paid version. And for paid version, uh, that is a separate thing. In the free part, you will use that. You can use those all those lessons part. You can easily use all those lessons. Many lessons are there. You can simply uh, use uh, any lessons are there. Accelerator. Uh, I'll go to motion. I have shown you this one. I'll go to motion. There are many are there. Uh, like friction part is there. You can use this friction one. It will open it. It will open here itself. Okay. You can download it. You can download it. There is a, no problem in downloading and any things. You can simply download. Only two lessons. It require a uh, paid version. See. So this is this is the friction one. This one is friction one. So you can see this one also. Friction lab. 
close. See, it is opened over here. Trade as you trade. Okay. Pull the uh, stopper down to release. Made for the like this one. Okay, fill the sled with the various amount of weight and time how long it takes to travel the surface the distance. You can use the replay. See, this is a gravity because gravity is very high over here. So I am just taking the slight one slightly. I'm taking what it is. Okay, suppose 15 kg. So as I pull it down, just measure it. So it is a parameter to just to understand about friction, the friction and kinetic friction at what mass it starts moving. So we can make it. We make uh, so there is a one hands on uh, hands on exercise for you. Kindly make simple uh, tool and just show this showing the tool. Just look at exit already made for you. This one, okay. Ah, this one. This I have already made for you. Hands on example. Simply I have made uh, like a simple pendulum one. So you can easily, you can find this uh, proper value also. Okay. So one option is there. Uh, show names, show values. If you click on the show values, it will give you the value of that particular force which is, act, uh, is acting on that object at current point. So your creativity to make a interactive uh, this kind of uh, uh, tool this time uh, example okay. I'm just waiting for your innovative uh, examples of uh, base which is based on gravitation which is based on friction you can showcase projectile motion also uh, and uh, with various tools you can make a uh, like a, some object is moving so plenty are there. You can use your creativity and make a different examples. Yes. Especially for mechanics, like when we are going free body diagram, it is very much useful. You can use this pulley also, this, this thing I have. Make a pulley also and uh, make a free body diagram for when two weights are hanging on either side of the pulley. So you can use that thing also. You can make that kind of also. So this is a small exercise. Just make one and again, share it to the WhatsApp group. So I hope all these tools like Algodo is there. We have learned uh, like uh, basically two tools. One is fast light tool and another is Algodo. And in fast light, one important is circuit simulation one in which we have uh, made uh, different circuits different enhanced circuits are there. You can make LCR circuit, diodes, and uh, like a real-time uh, simulation we have understood from there. Okay. And it is uh, very much useful because instead of making a breadboard and spending money on that, we can uh, instruct students to make a circuit in uh, that particular simulation, uh, uh, circuit simulator itself and check whether it is correct or not. And uh, 
what is the output of it. At the same time, they can check its output also, whether it is functioning properly or not. So that is a very like a good one, which I find it very useful. Okay. Next, we have learned about the, the same, uh, like fast ed only. The maths and physics applets are also available, and in which I have discussed few to you. Like one is electrostatic one, and another is uh, uh, different electric motor is there, electric generator is there. You just open it, and op many options are there. You just hold it. You, just, you can increase the simulation speed. You can change the parameters to check what will happen, like in this way, right? So that thing we have learned it. Next, uh, we uh, proceed with the new tool that is an algo tool. And it is a basically for physics simulation to understand uh, like laws of motion, to understand pollution. We can understand, we can see the uh, this pollution also. We can uh, like make a small uh, this uh, thing, um, like a small video on pollution. And uh, 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 basic concept we can understand it from here, especially in the mechanics one, projectile motion one, friction part. These things we can understand it, and uh, we can use imagination to explain anything using this physics sandbox, which is algorithm. I hope you are making some beautiful interactive uh, simulation on this algorithm. You can make it any three of it. You can explore. Thank you. Now I'm welcoming uh, you for questions. If you want to ask any question, you can ask me. Ma'am, uh, I'll go to, uh, we have to do it offline, ma'am. Ma yes, it is offline. Uh, uh, not sorry, it's not offline. You have to download. Yes, yes, yes. Once you download it, it's, uh, it is offline. Yes. And, and uh, how can we update for further updates? For further updates, uh, if you it is a like uh, you have to see for the paid version of it. You have to download the paid version of it. For that, they will ask your uh, this email ID and credit card number, and accordingly they will upgrade your uh, this uh, software, and then you can use it in the upgraded version. That means uh, we we have limited to certain things only in this. Uh... All things, whatever I have showed you, it's all free. You can use it. You can you can uh, like uh, save it for uh, further, but you cannot uh, uh, like uh, you cannot save in that algo to system. You can save it for your own, okay, and uh, uh, share it to the student. You can explain it everything. But uh, I think sharing and saving part is missing in the uh, free part in free version. That means uh, here you have showed only related to mechanics and optics related uh, topics. But if I'll go to further add uh, other things like uh, heat and thermodynamics. There are other uh, simulation tools are there. Like one is Simfi is there. Simfi, Simfi is also a very good tool. But again, it is a paid one. Uh, for I think for free 15 days or 14 days, they are giving you free version. And after 15 days, then uh, you have to pay uh, pay it for, to use it further. Okay, so there are uh, many are there, but uh, somehow yeah, it is paid. But this one is free one. This one is free. Uh, you can use, you can open it in the class and you can explain the particular concept. You can give assignment to students that just make it and uh, you can like, uh, we can use it. And uh, the before, uh, like Falstad is also a free one. You can download it also. That is a very beautiful feature is there. You can download it. Not to Falstead and you can showcase that particular circuit in the class. So it is all free. Yeah, can you suggest any uh, best simulator for heat and thermodynamics? Heat and thermodynamics, okay. Heat and thermodynamics again this way. And it was Falstead only. Uh, here. Heat and thermodynamics, you can go over there. I have showed you electrodynamics one uh, for heat and th thermodynamics. Just see this gas yeah. molecular simulation applets. 
see here how the gas molecules are behaving if you uh this is a run one gas i have taken random speed i have taken you can see one gas equal speed so if all the molecules are moving with equal speed then what will happen okay brownian motion here this is the brownian motion we can add a heater i have i have just applying some heat to it then what will happen to the molecular count here you can see its volume number of molecules uh pressure kt the pv upon nkt ratio and this is the like in this way this is a we can explain student this is um so brownian motion path see this is one of the molecule it is showing the brownian motion path to it so and here mean free path concept also we can explain to them brownian motion is here okay we can hide molecules you can hide molecules but and showcase only one see how it happens how exactly it is moving okay now stop so it gets stopped so this is the one of the brownian motion part similarly uh, free expansion is there so if, if the object is expanding this is the one pistol is there so if it is expanding so how how it will behave so this is one thing again you can uh, heat engine from thermodynamics see this is a heat engine one so you have to explore all, all the parameters are shown over here you can see the cycle is carnot cycle it is using carnot cycle it is using and this Uh, just you can see show what is the pressure acting over it. and it is a it is showing the real time calculation over here you can see what is the entropy uh, figure is there so the graph according to it the temperature this graph is showing the temperature isobaric and isothermal so thermally how they are moving see so it is also very nicely explained so here we can explain a little bit we have to explore a little bit now back to index again you can go to back to index now oscillation in waves where we can explain about the oscillation in waves from here waves are moving it's a single source what will happen for the two source so for the two source we can the uh, like a uh, diffraction the interference pattern we can uh, show them okay how the interference pattern is obtained constructive interference fringes and destructive interference fringes we can explain in the case of sound like your fm radio microwave different waves are there we can explain them in this we can use color scheme also different color scheme two color scheme one color scheme we can change its resolution from here resolution also get change source frequency brightness so we can sir ripple tank this is a simulation of ripple tank so we can uh, explain the phenomena like uh, interference the fraction single slit double slit resonance doppler effect refraction many many things we can explain over here like all sources there two sources are there so obstacle if the obstacle is there so how the this energy is here it is a example of diffraction you are seeing it is example of diffraction, how the bending of waves is taking place so many are there they are very useful student can also these are all free only to conceptualize that particular uh, this concept in mind okay the student will get a in depth right so on here anything want to ask many many are there see. so you can explore from it thank you ma'am okay very good sir hope you have made a small circuit which i have given you one task and a very small uh, like a uh, animated a video of uh, the simulation of from algodo many very basic basic one There are many more tools are there. 